The Target A randomized clinical trial found that target IORT, that is targeted intraoperative radiotherapy given during lumpectomy, is as effective as the postoperative course of whole breast radiotherapy. And as you can see in these figures, in every breast cancer outcome, local recurrence free survival, mastectomy free survival, breast cancer mortality, the results are very comparable between target IORT and whole breast radiotherapy. And target IORT significantly and clinically substantially reduced deaths from other causes such as cardiovascular causes, lung problems and other cancers. Target IORT has now been used in over 260 centers in 38 countries all over the world and more than 45,000 patients have been treated with target IORT for breast cancer. In this paper, we give some new insights from target IORT asking some very pertinent questions. And this paper is published in the British Journal of Cancer in the current issue. The four questions we asked are one, who can have target IORT? Number two, who needs supplemental external beam radiotherapy? Number three, are the implications of a local recurrence the same whether you had radiotherapy with intra-target IORT or you had external beam radiotherapy? And number four, what are the reasons for the reduced mortality from other causes in the target A trial? So who can have target IORT? So in this pre-planned subgroup analysis, we found that the local recurrence-free survival, the local control of breast cancer between target IORT and EBRT was no different whatever this tumor subtype as you can see from these forest plots and as you can see in the figures the overall survival in those patients who had grade 1 and grade 2 cancers irrespective of other tumor subtypes was better improved survival with target IORT compared with EBRT and there was no detriment in overall survival in those with grade 3 cancers. So who should get supplemental whole breast radiotherapy after having had targeted intraoperative radiotherapy during a lumpectomy? After having looked at the post-operative post pathology, you can go on to this Decision Aid interactive web tool on target.org.uk slash addrt and you can put in the patient details. For example, a 55-year-old lady who had a 15 millimeter cancer, grade 3, ER positive, HER2 negative, no lymphovascular division, lymph nodes negative, and margins negative, this patient would have only a 16% chance of receiving external beam radiotherapy within the target A trial. So for this patient, our recommendation would be not to add any external beam radiotherapy. A second example would be, again, a 55-year-old lady with a, which was, who was found to have an unexpected invasive lobular cancer rather than an invasive ductal cancer. It was 35 millimeters in size, grade three, ER negative, HER2 negative, and with lymphovascular invasion and four positive nodes, this lady would have a 91% chance of receiving whole breast radiotherapy after having received target IORT within the targeted trial. And our recommendation would be for this such a patient, you would probably give a whole breast radiotherapy. Uh, that is what would be recommended. So the other important question is, what are the implications of local recurrence? Traditionally, a local recurrence after breast conserving surgery and whole breast radiotherapy meant that there was a higher risk of distant relapse to occur within a few months or few years. We investigated whether the same applies to, have to, to those patients who have local recurrence after target IORT. And we found something quite new. As you can see in these graphs, the top graph is of distant relapse and the bottom graph is hazard of breast cancer death. There are four lines in each of these graphs. The top line is those patients whose is the hazard of those patients who had whole breast radiotherapy and a local recurrence. And you can see how this hazard is much higher in such patients compared to those who had local recurrence after target IORT, which is comparable to those patients who had no local recurrence in either arm of the trial. So it looks like a local recurrence after having received target IORT does not detract at all from the excellent prognosis of these patients. The last question we have answered in this particular paper is the reason for the large difference in non-breast cancer mortality that we found in the target A trial. The randomization in the target A trial 
was whole breast post-operative radiotherapy or to receive risk adapted single dose intraoperative radiotherapy during the lumpectomy procedure. When comparing these two randomized arms, we found a huge reduction in the non-breast cancer mortality with a hazard ratio of 0.59 and an absolute difference of 4.4% by the time the follow-up reached 12 years. Now there was a natural experiment that occurred in the Target A trial. In the group that was randomized to target IORT, it was a risk-adapted approach within the protocol. So a proportion, about 20%, that is 241 patients, received supplemental EBRT. So we had two groups, one that received supplemental EBRT and others. So if you now compare the EBRT arm with others who had not received supplemental EBRT, we would have a pure comparison between receiving EBRT or not receiving it. Whether the scattered irradiation from, to nearby vital organs could have caused the excess mortality in the EBRT arm. And this is the kaplan meyer plot which shows that there is a significant difference in non-breast cancer mortality over here. Now this seems to start two to three years after randomization. Now what about the other group which received target IORT followed by supplemental whole breast radiotherapy? Now these 41 patients, if you compare them with the EBRT arm, what is the difference between the two? Both arms, both groups received whole breast radiotherapy. So there was no difference literally much in the scattered irradiation in both the arms. So there should not be a difference in non-breast cancer mortality if this difference was related to only the scattered irradiation. So the difference between these two groups was receipt of or the presence of target IORT during the lumpectomy procedure. And what did we find? We found that there was a significant difference in non-breast cancer mortality, even this arm, which is statistically highly significant. And you can see the wide separation between the groups. And what is interesting as is that this starts at the time of randomization, immediately after surgery. It appears that this is a drug-like effect. And this has been well documented in many other studies as a possible abscopal, that is distant or systemic, possibly immunomodulatory effect of a large dose radiation during the trauma of surgery. So this is uh, a very, very interesting fact which corroborates with previous data that has been seen in many other studies in other parts of the body as well. So what are the new insights of the Target A trial that have been seen in this new publication in the British Journal of Cancer? Number one, who can have Target IORT? And based on these data, we, have, we can recommend an uh, evidence-based guideline that target IRT is suitable for all patients with any subtumor subtype as long as they would have been eligible for the target A trial. That is, anybody who is 45 years and older with an invasive ductal carcinoma as a single lesion and which is up to 3.5 centimeters in size irrespective of any other tumor subtype. Number two, who should receive external beam radiotherapy? And in this paper, we provide an interactive web-based decision aid, a tool for clinicians to help them decide who should get external beam radiotherapy based on any individual patient tumor uh, characteristics. Number three, we found that when patients get a local recurrence after target IORT, their outcome remains excellent, unlike that in patients who have local recurrence after whole breast radiotherapy. And this is an excellent news for patients and for clinicians. And finally, what is the reason for this difference in non-breast cancer mortality? It looks like there are two reasons for it. One is the avoidance of scattered irradiation to the nearby vital organs, organs at risk. And second is a possible, what appears to be uh, an abscopal effect of giving target IORT during surgery, which has a beneficial protective effect for against deaths from cardiovascular causes, lung problems, and other cancers. This last effect, the target B trial, is going to actually test this, giving intraoperative target IORT boost versus postoperative external beam boost in young patients and those at very high risk of local recurrence. And it is already randomizing, randomized more than uh, nearly 1,400 patients in 38 countries. And in this trial, 
If you find a difference in non-breast cancer mortality, that will be the test of this hypothesis. Thank you very much.